Well, hey guys, it's late at night, but I am back. And we've got Tac Pack for December. It's still 2023. It's almost not, but it still is. And uh, this is the post office's address. So I don't care if you get that. All my stuff's covered up here. But we've got Tac Pack, <clears throat> courtesy of Kevin who I really need to get a bunch of boxes. I knocked something over, sorry. Really need to get a bunch of boxes too. I gotta, gotta get with them. I just haven't been, haven't been at the shop where we usually meet up to do box switching. Um, but, so, it's kind of a small one. You know, I always, I always kind of want the, I always think that December, like the Christmas time boxes, should be like the biggest and best, but whatever. So, Tack Pack for December 2023. This is the premium, so it's better. Better than what? Yes. Let's see what's in this. Oh, I'm glad I didn't cut too uh, far in. All right, so we will start with our sticker. Our sticker here is very Christmassy. It is the armed up Grinch. I don't know, that's what I'm calling it now. Who knows what they're actually gonna call it. We'll find out when we look on the card. The stickers are always fun and they always list them as like just a, a bonus item. So they don't chart, they don't, they don't put a value on it as part of the box, which is nice. And if I just drop it somewhere, it'll look like it's part of the board, which is cool. So let's see exactly what they do have for us. We've got a one and a two and three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, oh, I always forget to make this little caveat. Um, if you don't like guns, if you are not into shooting, if you don't own firearms or, or all that stuff and I always say this box usually caters towards the AR and Glock type crowd. This probably is not a video you're gonna like, and I will have no hard feelings if right now you click away and go watch something else, because that's what this box is really all about most of the time. Um, we're gonna start over here with the American Buffalo Knife and Tool, otherwise known as ABKT. It is, there you go, PRC. You know, just be, just be proud. Say you're made in China. Don't try, to, don't try to snow job us there. This is a folding karambit. All right, so I'm already not really gonna like this thing that much. Um, okay, I've got a clip that is at least reversible, left or right. The key thing about a karambit is having the ring on the end. So you can use it in the prescribed martial art way karambits are used. Um, but okay, if it otherwise it's just basically like like a, like a like a hawkbill knife. It's not and okay, whatever. But it's a folding karambit. It is made of stainless steel, hardened to sixty Rockwell. Um, G10 handles, but they don't say what kind of stainless steel. You say stainless steel, so I'll have to look it up and see if I can find it. 3.25 inch blade. Oh. <coughs> now there are people, and I go through this all the time, there are people who say that they carry these for utility purposes. A karambit by design, a modern karambit, because, you know, you always got to preface that many moons ago in the east, the karambit, although it didn't look like this then, it was a different, it was different, it was an agricultural tool. It morphed a bit into a fighting tool. This is a, this is a fighting knife. This is not an EDC knife. This is not a utility knife. That's not what this shape is for. Um, this is with the right techniques, 
the karambit's only purpose is to is to cut flesh. That is what that is what it does. And people will argue with me. That's old masking tape from a model. Um, I, when I say that in videos, but a modern day karambit shape, that is what it is designed for. That is what it does. Um, and having that ring is part and parcel to the, the, the techniques that someone with proper training does with a karambit. And I say this all the time. I stay in my lane, you know, when I don't know, I don't know. And I don't, I don't know the first thing about, about, you know, actual like Kali or any, any proper knife fighting besides the most very basic crap you're taught in the military. And I mean the most basic stuff, which is like, run at them as quietly as you can and stab them in the, the neck while you're, I mean, or in the kidneys. I mean, most basic stuff. I don't, I couldn't, I couldn't fight one-on-one -on -one with a knife. I couldn't, it's not my thing. Um, so it's well-centered, pretty much perfect. Um, you'd think also, okay, so with the, with the design that it is, you're going to use it for self-defense. It is a self-defense we tool, weapon, whatever we're saying. It should be able to be deployed much more quickly. It should snap out. There we go. You got to use wrist. Shouldn't have to use wrist. There we go. Okay. I spoke to. So you can middle finger, middle fling, middle, blech, blech, middle finger flick it, kind of. There you go. And get it open. Um, what kind of washers do we have in here? Yeah, plastic washers. Guarantee these are not nylon. They're just, pla I mean, they're not Teflon. They're just nylon. Um, do I got money? I know I do. It's like buried under a bunch. I have, if you saw what a pig sty my little work area is, um, you tell me I'm gross. Hmm. Okay, fairly sharp, fairly sharp. Um, I'm not gonna do the cord test right now, I'm not. The weight is pretty good, it's all right, it's okay. It's absolutely not a knife I would carry. I'm just, I'm telling you right now. And, and it's okay if, you know, once again, this is opinion. Um, this is just not a knife I would carry because utility-wise, to me, I would rather have a traditional drop point with a nice solid straight edge on it to do my cutting with. The only self-defense I know how to do with a knife is the aforementioned moves. So having a karambit is not going to help me because I don't know how to do the proper maneuvers and stuff. Um, oh. um, so out of the gate, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that really like this. Um, I'm just not one of them. So I'm gonna put that in, don't like it. It is nice to get a, 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 a decent quality. It's okay quality. I mean, when they won't even tell you what the steel is and they just say stainless, that's saying something, but decent quality folding knife in tack pack. So next, the Die Free Company Grip. It's a Kung Fu grip. Okay, <clears throat> I'm automatically thinking about G.I. Joe um, when I hear Kung Fu Grip. So you get, it's actually a pretty cool sticker, not gonna lie. <clears throat> Destroy after use. Here, if you're interested, go ahead, scan away. You get your handle nut there. You get a little lock washer or anything. Okay. Um, actually, I like it. It's, it's pretty comfortable. There's a little indent there for your finger. It's a fairly straight, so um, you know a lot of the pistol grips are are uh, angled back a little bit. This one's a fairly straight one, but it's not bad. I like it. I mean, I know that we say, all right, <clears throat> how many. How many grips, how many this or that are we gonna get? But again, the box is made for, for those that want the, I mean, if you're getting this box, you want the accessories. 
you want to build, you want to have options. Um, and this is a company I've never heard of before. So, sorry, I'm just noticing. Uh, I'm just looking at all the little designs on there. Um, so there's some people that are probably very happy to have all the options, <clears throat> all the pieces. Like, you know, if it if I wasn't lazy and this was my box and I was going to keep all the pieces, I probably would rotate each one of these in on mine, you know, just to see what it felt like and everything. Um, but I don't feel like doing all that work. So plus, you know, dealing with springs and detents and everything that you have to mess with every time. Anyway, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it's it's not extraordinary. It's not like a huge difference from other grips. It just is. So, there. All right, what's next? The Raven Concealment Top Stop. I believe that is the yellow plastic thing. So this is just a protective thing that goes. So I'm gonna have to show you guys a picture of an AR upper receiver for those who can't visualize it or don't know. And this is going to kind of snap in from the bottom, I'm assuming, yeah. It seals it, prevents any kind of junk uh, from getting in there. It prevents your bolt carrier group from spilling out the back, um, which really shouldn't happen if you have your charging handle in there and it's snapped in. But let's say anything does happen. Uh, this will keep it in there. And then you have a little tab. Uh, it's a nice to have, it's not a have to have, but I could see being out in the field somewhere and having to strip down to clean or whatever, or I, I could see where this would be nice to block, you know, some, some crap from getting in there. I, I don't know. I don't know how often I'd use it. This is a better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. It's made in the USA and uh that's about it so okay um i'm not sure where to put this we'll just sit there next we've got the b and b brass roots t-shirt oh oh now this is going to be sized for kevin and not me and normally i'm not a big fan of the t-shirts they said b and b and i didn't get it at first until i saw this but now I'm super jealous. Because so I'll tell you what. I'm a kid. Grew up in the 80s. Was a teenager in the 90s. And damn it, I'd love Beavis and Butthead. I watched. So, yeah. MTV used to have. Well, when they were starting to transition away from music into TV shows. Beavis and Butthead. And Liquid Television. And uh, there were some. Some. Before they were nothing but reality shows. I love Beavis and Butthead. And uh, this is a cool shirt. And it says on the top. And then a bottom shoot to throw. That's, a, that's actually a pretty cool shirt. I like that. Um, yeah. All right. So I definitely like this shirt. Um, then we have the Grinch Operator sticker that we talked about. All right, so that's everything in the standard box. Now we're going into the premium box. What makes this box better, for lack of a better word, than the standard, we have some extra items. By the way, um, here's, a, here's a code. Here's a scanny box. It still doesn't say what kind of steel it is, but all right. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we have, oh wait, we have another. We have an icon defense. It's probably the same code twice, but if you want to scan it, there you go. First plus item is the, oh, quick detach M-lock sling mount. Am I going to be able to even open this thing? Or has plastic defeated me? There we go. Oh, God bless this. 
coolest M-Lock thing I've, e I've ever seen. I love that. And then you can attach by ring here or the little QD plug-in deal. That's awesome. It's obviously aluminum. It's very lightweight. I like this. Oh, I wish, I hope all M-Lock goes to this in the future. That is awesome. All right, and that goes with the other premium item, which is the McLean Dynamic Retention Sling. Designed by active duty member of the soft community, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's see. Looks like it's a, well, no, I was gonna say it looks like it's a one point, but it's a two point. And I like that adjustment. And this, boom. So you could do a one point, you could clip this and then this can go onto your gear. Um, you could, so this is technically, I guess, technically a one point sling, right? But there's no reason you couldn't put this around your body if you wanted to. Um, and it, it, you know, you could connect this because it's, um, yeah, I think you could open it up enough, make this a two point sling if you wanted to. I'm just saying if you wanted to. But I can see that this is probably really meant to be a one point sling, this connecting to, um, connecting to you and this connecting to the firearm or the other way around but it's nice thick nylon though it's it's got lots of adjustment points so you can make this big small um, it's really the the metal fittings though are really heavy gauge I like that they really feel solid um, they don't have any price values on any of this, so um, I don't know. Yeah, it says right here, it's not your average two point to one point trend. Okay, so it is made for both. That's cool. At least I didn't make that up and I wasn't out of my mind. Um, so that is pretty cool. And then they say you can use the QR code to learn more about it. So there we go. Um, I think that might be the quickest pack pack unboxing I've done. So we've got the ABTK knife, which I'm not thrilled with at all. Love the Grinch sticker. Comfortable, not groundbreaking. I love this. I love this sling mount. This might be my favorite thing in the box right here. Um, you know, if you've got M-Lock anyway. This is great. Useful. Again, uh, nice to have, not a need to have. Um, T-shirt's awesome. And this sling, I think, is pretty cool, especially in conjunction with the, the sling mount, but, you know, something I'd have to try out to really know if I like it or not. So that is the box for Krishmish. Um, So what do you think of this Tack Pack box? What are your Christmassy thoughts on December Tack Pack Premium? Let me know. What are your favorite items? What are your least favorite items? Which sticker do you like better? Okay. Sorry to the non the non pew pew lovers among us. I understand this is a niche box, but it is what it is. Um, so <clears throat> I definitely want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you thought of it, what you liked, and what you didn't. While you're uh, thinking about it and doing your comments along with your subscribing and like and all that stuff, remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. And I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.